You can believe in yourself just a little too, pal. I appreciate that, Flowey. Ooh! I like that. That's so fun. Oh! Oh my god! They're homing! They're homing feathers! That's so cool! Whoa! It's waterfall! Thank you, Flowey. I need constant reassurance. <laughs> ah! Oh! Insomnitot. Insomnitot. Okay. Up past its bedtime. That's me right now. Sleep is for the weak. Oh, God. Ow. Ah. Uh, stop snoozing. No. It pains. Hurts. Air is crisp. Um. Sing. You attempt to sing a quiet lullaby, and Somnitot looks bored. Oh. I see what you're doing. It's not gonna work. Oh, thanks. I I'm trying to help you. Somnitot catches itself nodding off. Uh. Hypnotize? You swing at Somnitot's tassel in front of its face. I'm getting sleepy? Oh, wow. This is annoyingly painful. <laughs> Great. Ooh. Uh, you can't reach Asgore if you're dead. Stop! I know. Please don't say anything. <laughs> Don't say anything to me. Thank God I saved. Okay, we got this. Um, hypnotize. Yawn. It's counting sheep. One, two, two, three, four. And Samatot struggles to maintain consciousness. Yawn. I hate this one specifically. My dog is. Sniffing my throat blanket. Uh, oh, then I sing. You're a good singer. Imsanata is happy, is in its happy place. Very nice. Oh. What's this? A new customer? Oh. Oh my god. That was cool. Bam! Who am I? Nobody of notes, you know. Just the best darn salesman ever. Wham! I mow. Anyway, the fact that you tried to get your mitts on this mug could only mean one thing. You're looking for a delicious little something to hit the spot, right? Of course, I know your type. So, you want this here beverage? I do. No, you don't. Oh. Uh Okay. Liquids, so last season. Solids, ha, season before. You wanna be fresh and revolutionary? I got the latest thing. Solids that used to be liquids. And, you know, haven't been sitting out in the forest for three weeks. I haven't, I've invented the next big thing here. For the incredible low price of 15 G, you can have your very own hot chocolate pop. It was once boring old hot chocolate, but now it's frozen to the perfect temperature. Have I piqued your interest yet? No thanks. You sure you don't want one? You have to keep up with the times, pal. Here, I have an idea. I'll let you look at them for free. Call it a holiday special. I don't get a lot of shipments, so I only have one of each. Let's get down to business. <gasps> oh. oh, it's a popsicle. Uh, this is what I got. Hot pop, lukewarm pop, or cold pop. Hey, what are you doing there? That ain't no pop. You leaving me? Not interested in my wares. Do I not have your favorite temperature? Oh, I see. You need some time to think about. Well, I'll always be here for your goal. Business. I said business. Huh. I mean, I couldn't stay away. Well, bam, take your pick. Here's what I got. I guess I'll get a hot pop. Great choice. You enjoyed that pop, buddy. Okay. Let me actually see what... Hot pop. Piping hot chocolate frozen, then reheated. Oh. Oh, okay. Interesting. Concept. I appreciate you wanting to me to compliment you a third time. But you don't have to lean on me so much for emotional support. You can believe in yourself just a little too, pal. I appreciate that, Flowey. 
I appreciate you being looking out for me. All right, I got, I got you, I got you, I got you. Hot pop. Maybe some warm coffee. Oh, bro, I got a hot pop for you. You want a lukewarm pop? Or is it actual coffee he wants? Okay. Or is, is it just like an actual physical pop? Because I might have spot two pops for no reason. Dang. Well, I, I got pops now. Um, what do they heal? Eight. Piping hot chocolate lukewarm to a lukewarm status. Okay. Well, bye. I'll get some coffee if I find any. Oh. No cone comes to see if you are made of fire. You aren't. Oh. One ski short of a snowmobile. No cone drew on wall once. No cone mother got mad. Okay. Oh. No cone is yelling random noises that sound like they could be made up... Uh, they could be a made up language. Um, educate? You patiently explain the dangers of an open flame. No cone seems receptive. Fire, hot, melt, no cone? No cone, not know this. You good friend to no cone. Oh, oh. What are you throwing at me? Oh, God. Oh, I see. I can move through those. No cone has been enlightened. Thank you. Okay. Oh, it's a castle. It's a snow castle. How cute. You open the doors. <gasps> it's a, it's a, you open the drawbridge. <gasps> Your head hurts too much to keep going. No! I want to go in the tiny castle. Da -da -dun -dun -da -dun -dun. <gasps> oh my god, it's Ice Wolf. Huh, 238, 239. At this pace, Ice Wolf is ready for a new job in no time. New job is very important for Ice Wolf. Ice Wolf needs money for new pants. Oh, he don't have pants. He's right. No matter how much they throw this ice into the river, the pile never lessens. You know, it'd be like that. It'd be like that sometimes would work. UGP. <laughs> ah! Oh boy, oh gee, a customer. I'm nervous. I am a male whale from the Underground Postal Service. That's cute. Haven't heard of us? We're the best. For short, just call us UGPS. So I heard you're new to the Underground. How you ask? Well, where it sure gets around. The Underground is great and it keeps getting better. Because I brought for you your very first letter. You received mail. That was a special letter from us to you. Do you feel welcome now? I hope you do. Isn't the mail system a wonderful innovation? If you ever want to use it, just come to a station. They look just like this and they're scattered all about. If you want to receive some mail, find one and give us a shout. We assure you, they are conveniently situated. Here at UGPS, we're anything but dated. Talking and sharing, all using the mail from your underground friends, but that's all for this whale. Now, I must be off. The mail mustn't be late. See you later in your own journey, mate. The rhymes, <laughs> it's so fun. I got mail. Oh, I can't, okay. Intro letter, read. Come here, new friend, right here to our space. Whether you roam or stay in one place, we hope you have friends with fun letters to send and always a smile on your face. Here's to more mail without any stress. Hope to see you again. The UGPS. That's cute. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, maybe... Should I read? Oh, I didn't mean to summon you. Hi! Hello again, friend. Do you have mail to claim? Let's take a look. You don't? What a shame. If you want to check again, just ring the bell. Until we meet again, I bid you farewell. They are such a cute whale. And pink. So cute. So precious. Alright, Flowey. Howdy. 
Must say, I didn't remember this place being so... You know... Colorful. Really can't go on two seconds without getting harassed around here. Hasn't anyone heard of personal space? Unless someone can mail you to Asgore, I don't see why we need him. Anyway, let's get a move on. Time's a-wasting. You got that. The remnants of a snowman, once full of life, now full of potential for new life. <gasps> That's so cool. We love a positive way of thinking. Oh, coffee. Oh, hey, watch it. Oh, ho, ho, would you look at that? I think this chump wants to pass. Swig, toast, come over here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, boss? What's up? You need a shave again? We got ourselves some fresh meat. Heh, <laughs> you ain't getting nowhere, small fry. Yeah, not anywhere. Will you two put a lid on it? Ugh. Anyway, the name's Reffle. I'm the boss of the world-renowned gang, the Shufflers. We rule this town. If you want to pass, you're gonna have to go through us. Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa! No need to start a fight. Let's be civil here. Do you attempt to attack everyone you encounter? Not really. Calm down, will ya? Jeez. We shufflers prefer to settle things in a more dignified manner. You catch my drift? We would like to propose a challenge. A game of sorts. Oh. We'll take this ball here and hide it under one of us. Next, we'll shuffle around. When we finish, you'll have to guess who has the ball. We'll do this three times in a row. You win, you can pass. You lose, we'll sit here blocking you for all eternity. Oh, you picking up what I'm putting down? Yes. That makes things easy then. Here we go. There's, that's so fun. Okay. I love the big old arrow on the top. Now, how can I tell if they shift back, though? I guess you never know. Nice side, kid. Keep it up. It didn't move. <laughs> or it, it didn't move to a different spot anywhere. You're doing good, kid. Now don't let it go to your head. Do I have to get three in a row? The middle. <laughs> Boss, I think the little punk beat us. That must have been a lucky guess. There's no way a glass of spoiled milk like you could beat us. Now, now, Toast. Let's simmer down. There ain't nothing to get heated over. The kid beat us fair and square. The shufflers ain't nothing if not true to their word. Ain't that right? Yeah, boss, the shuffler always keeps their word. Yeah, always. Now, kid, we'll let you pass on through. You've earned yourself a powerful friend in the shufflers today. All you gotta do is remember the name. And we'll all be on your side if you ever need us. The shufflers always protect a friend, right, boys? Yeah, you got a problem, we can handle it. Yeah, handle. Very nice. I do have a problem, though. You best be behaving out there, kid. Do the shufflers proud. If you don't, we might wind up in an old discarded tea bag. You catch my drift? You're in the shufflers' neighborhood now. You wanna pass through here? You're gonna have to get through us. We got a real hard game for you. Only one monster ever go past us. Oh, that was you, wasn't it? Sorry about that. You spreading the word of the shufflers' reign yet? It's pretty nice knowing we got someone out there, you know? It's stressful having to run the gang and run our publicity too. And remember, if you ever need anything, we'll be here. There's always more monsters that need an inconveniencing, you get me? Honeydew Resort. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I just promise I'll get a cup of coffee somewhere. Welcome to Honeydew Resort. North, the Honeydew Lodge. Northwest, the Honeydew Hot Springs. East, exit to Snowden. Oh, okay. Give safe. Now this is what I'm talking about. A perfect place to relax and de-stress. Well, not perfect. A bit crowded for my taste. At least that keeps things interesting. <laughs> Wowie. How long have I been, uh... Oh, for a, for a bit now. Okay. 
a cozy looking campfire. The sweet scent of honeysuckle is wafting from the flames. Hey, have you seen those loiterers outside? They keep telling me they're a well-renowned gang, but I've never heard of them before. Maybe I really am getting to be out of the loop. They're called the Shufflers, guy. Uh, nothing like avoiding life's responsibilities by lodging, lounging all day. Been here for two weeks, hit the same spot every day. It's so easy to lose yourself out here. I don't even know if I have a job to go back to. I hope you uh, go back to your job. You know, it's pretty great. Oh, nice. Um, oh, I can get rid of the pebble ammo. Yeah. Okay. That's so cool. <gasps> Ooh, you're so cute. Looks like this bear fell asleep on its way to the resort. It has jars of honey tied to its back. They're getting cold. <gasps> no! He's so cute. This way to the hot springs. Alright, um... Let's go inside. Oh! 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 Okay! Ooh! I like that! That's so fun! I also love the inside aesthetic. <gasps> that's so fun. The honeybee comb table. Ah, that's so cute! You know why they told me to go on this vacation? Well, because I come off as a stressed... Oh, because I come off as stressed, but you know why that is. I have a theory, you see. Because there are just so many things in life to worry about. Work, and laundry, and an imminent starvation, and so on. Those are important back home, but here? Still important. Monsters pretend they're not, though, and you know what that is. Despicable, irresponsible, shameful behavior. You know how much part I'll have in it. None. Zip. Zero. Zilch. And that's how much you should have, too. Amen. <laughs> nice and cozy. You notice a sticker on the heater. Crafted with love by Chu Jin and Mar Martlet. Oh. <gasps> oh, look at all these characters. Are you enjoying the tunes as much as I am? Actually, don't answer that. You're not. Oh, I used to be one of these super fans you hear about. Followed the band around from place to place. Learned all the aliases they used in hotels. And watched them buy their favorite brands of cereal. Cereal? I'm reformed now, though. Now I'm content to sit and listen. Wow. They're so fun. How's it hanging? The name's Rodney. I'm the leader of our little band here. We travel all around the underground performing for the monsters. This resort is a regular gig. Care to hear a tune? Yes. Right on, dude. This is a chilly song you can curl up by the fireplace to. Okay. Ooh. Oh, that's so nice. I like I like that. It has the snow din motif. That's so fun. They got a little triangle head, a little robot guy, and a turtle. That's so cool. Care for a tune, my dude? Yes. Sounds good, buddy. Here's a mis mysterious song full of new discoveries. All right. I'm gonna s oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, they're killing it with these tunes. I love the the hints of the original soundtrack motif in there. Okay. I'm definitely gonna get copyrighted. Alright. Here's one for the monsters that are like a little time that like a little time to themselves. Okay. Dude, all of their songs are so funky. Okay. I like this. Okay. I think it cycles through now. Hey kid, the get up. I'm guessing you're from the dunes, eh? 
Wacky place, that is. I'm probably the only other one here that's been around these parts. Those monsters avoided due to the dryness and high temperature. What's a kid like you doing hanging out with those wild guys, eh? Don't look so confused. I'm just messing with you. Hee <laughs> hee. The dunes. I must be one of the other areas. <gasps> Welcome to the Honeydew Resort. Please look around. Was that the line? I felt that. Customer service. I love the little... I love the background aesthetic. That's so cute. Look at the toaster. Oh, uh, let's talk. Do you want to talk? Oh, I'm so nervous. This resort. Um, well... This resort has been a family business for years. We use local honey and all of our goodies while providing a warm place to visit. It was started by my great-great-uncle back in... Or was it my great-great-grandfather? I... Oh! I can't answer this customer's simple question! I'm not cut out for this job! Oh! So, uh, more about this place. <clears throat> our amenities are neat! The honey cooler, our coveted latte machine... Oh, and the space heater! That's a special one. It was donated us to us by a real nice engineer by the name of Chu Jin. His apprentice helped as well. He worked in the Steamworks ages ago when it was, you know, operational. Of course, everyone around here knew him for his generosity and soft smile. Always wanted to make people feel welcome. The heat from that machine often reminds me of those days. I hope it does to you, too. If you were there, which you weren't. <laughs> the animation. I'll shut up now. How's business? It's better than ever. This is the place to be in Snowed In. Some come for the band, some for the hot spring. But the monsters love our coffee the most. I don't blame them one bit. It's a sweet blend of coffee, beans, hazelnut creamer, and honey straight from the forest. I've already had 13 cups this morning. <laughs> oh my god, this is such a cozy cafe. The band? Let's see. We have a few acts that come here to play. The band is a very popular popular one from Hotland. Oh, you should totally hear their new single. I especially love the chorus. It's so good and... And... Oh no. I've just been talking about what I like. You must be so bored. This is why I don't like conversations. <laughs> Dalve. That name rings a bell. Hmm. Oh, I remember. Strange little guy. He would often visit here, sit down, and watch the band. It looked like he was in a trance every time he watched them. I always wanted to talk to him, but... The thought of socializing that much always scared me. Before I could muster the courage, he suddenly stopped visiting. I wonder where he went. If you see him, be sure to tell him he's always welcome here. Oh, that's so sweet. What do you got to buy? Oh, coffee? Okay, pancake comes with honey syrup. G bear, shaped like my face, cute. Honeydew pin, would go great on your hat. <gasps> defense, I like defense. Okay, first let's get the coffee. And the pin. <laughs> I appreciate the offer, but my dad would ground me if I bought items off strangers. That's why, that's what he always told me. Don't buy items off stranger. <laughs> See ya, thank you for being so kind. Dude, you should always be kind to your, uh, to anyone, actually, in general. But to service people, they go through it. Info. Armor Defense 4. Pin advertising the Honeydew Resort at Snowed In. Yes. Okay. Uh, oh, I got the coffee now. So, I think I've explored... Oh, crap. There's a back way. A cooler full of honey, ready for drinking. Yum? Honey is definitely, uh... You hear sounds coming from the plant. A plant? Hello? Interesting. Awesome. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna save. Give, him the, give the guy his coffee. Feel free to slack off for a while, kid. I'll be here checking out the hot springs. No problemo. I'll be running around 
uh, trying to get this guy stuck uh, off from the pole. I got you. You take out the cup of coffee. Hey, what are you, uh, crathy? That, that thing is steaming. I need something hot, but not that hot. Oh my god. Use. You eat. It isn't great. Oh my god. I'm so dumb. Maybe that's some warm coffee will... It would take true bravery to drink something this hot. H and honeydew coffee. Hey, what are you... What are you, crazy? Oh my god, you said coffee! Ugh. Okay. Actually... I'm gonna get my pot back, please. Alright, let's check out the hot springs. Oh, hello. I wish my left hand was as cozy as my right. Normally, I have two mittens, so my warm is symmetrical. But I think I my left mitten took a vacation or something. It just left me. Nice. Dude, this music is so nice. Ah, oh, hello! There's a torch on one side, but not on the other. The feng shui... The feng... The feng shui of this place is terrible. Feng shui? Feng shui? I don't really know how it's pronounced. Hello! Are you enjoying the warm atmosphere that can only be brought by a torch? Is it pleasant? Is it sentimental? Is it attractive? Oh, man, I love being a torch. Oh, okay, there's a face. The water is blocked by stairs. Swimming is a great full body workout. Are you seeing these limbs? I've never been so toned. On top of that, I've dropped a whole goggle size. That's so nice, good for you. This is the hottest spot in Sodin, quite literally. I've wanted to come up here for forever and this is finally my chance. It was worth the wait. This is complete bliss. There's a honey? The Oh my god, the scenery is so nice. So, the... The guy doesn't want my coffee. How am I supposed to give him, like, a warm cup of coffee? Hmm. I don't want to leave. Honeydew Resort, family owned and operated. All travelers are welcome. Wow, it's colder today than usual, huh? If I wasn't extremely lazy, I'd go to the Honeydew Resort and get some hot coffee. <gasps> it's her! I, I it's it's Mertlo. Mert Mertlet. Bridge slippery during snowfall. No running. I don't like the sound. Royal Guards thinking they're all special. They don't have screening processes like they used to. How do they interview these bozos? Do you want to do you member of the Royal Guard? Yes. Here's a uniform. You start Monday. Just look at the puzzle. It was a perfectly nice bridge once. I remember what it looked like as a bridge. I realize the mouth is not where I thought the mouth was to be. I would have called it a pretty handsome bridge. Now, you could say homemade is charming or whatever. But you can't call it handsome. No way, no way. Oh, whoa. Okay. A cushion. Oh, nice. I fell on my little tush. Oh, gotcha. Oh, dang. That one was quick. Oh, stop. Ugh. 
Oh, so I can't run on the bridge, I just realized. Strange. That wasn't a handsome bridge the last I looked. Was it always that way? Oh. Where am I? Oh, oh, I, I don't know. Ten steps to the east. Second sign. Oh. Try Hexa. Wobbles forward. Okay. Uh, intimidatingly tall. Look at- look, Ma, no hands! Oh. Oh. Okay. Trihecta seems to be pushing each other's buttons. Um, climb? You attempt to climb the Trihecta. Try pushes you away for stepping on them. Oh, these two clowns get all the attention. Ooh. Oh my god. Trihecta is considering purchasing a long trench coat. Uh, pull. You pull Trihecta towards you. Be careful up there, okay? Oh, ow. Sorry, I clipped it. Just barely. That's fun. Trihecta begins to sway back and forth. Pull. Trihecta topples over. Everyone okay? They're separated now. Woo! Oh my god. Recovered, recovered. Try Hector regroups, then bickers. Try Heck and Ta. Nice. Ten steps to the east, ten steps to the west. Okay. Ten steps to the west. Okay. Nice. At least I know where the signs are. This is so pretty. Ooh. Some leftovers from this puzzle's construction. To whom it may concern, after building the first ball puzzle, I realized a fatal flaw in its design. How was an intruder supposed to, like, see it? The puzzle was on a higher plane out of your average monster's eyesight. If someone solved that puzzle, they must be very good at guessing. In any case, I have created an improvised version, or improved version. With the new vertical design, you can see what you're controlling. Uh. Hi. The parts may still get stuck, though. Please refer to my instructions back at the first puzzle if that happens. Signed, Martlet of the Underground Royal Guard. Cute. Oh, look at the little design. Oh, sorry, my bad. Okay. I did that the first time and it didn't work out. Oh my god, I'm so freaking dumb. Ah, I gotta do it again. Okay, hold on. Nice. We did it. That took way longer than it needed to. Oh, there's benches. It's a box. Uh, a wooden bench. Oh, honey, do pancake. Oh, wow. I didn't even read the rest of it. I, you know what? I should. Howdy. We're almost out of here. Oh, I'm surprised that guard never saw you nearby, you know? Their puzzles sure weren't impressive. That's for certain. Knowing that, I wouldn't worry if you run into them. Whatever happens, I wish you luck. Dude, Flowey, thank you. You've been so supportive. How would I bring back warm coffee? Like, how do I make the hot coffee warm? 
And I don't get it at the moment, so we're just gonna... Yeah, we're just gonna leave it for now. And I'll come back to it. Don't tell me you're scared of the royal guard now. You saw that lady, right? You'll be fine. Trust me a little, will ya? I hope you're right. <gasps> She's so cute. Hmm? Oh, uh, hello. Uh, sorry, I don't know where my head was right there. It seems I have a summer home in La La Land these days. You look a bit lost. Are you looking for directions? I'll let you in on a little secret. I'm not actually in from an information kiosk. I know this place looks like the I know this place like the back of my wing though. I don't get lost much at all anymore. I can get you wherever you want to go. Wait. I'm going to take a shot in the dark here, but you're human, right? I knew it. I knew I'd find a human. You must be human, right? Right? You look just like this guy on this poster I saw once. He had a hat just like you. And he was totally human, so, like, transitive property or something like that. Actually, I think he was from space. Are there space humans? You know what? I'll have plenty of time to ask those questions later. I'll ask you questions later. Are you ready for some royal guard protocol? I hope you are, because I memorized it. <laughs> I love it. She's so cute. She's so by the book. Martlet of the Royal Guard has encountered a human. Prepare to apprehend. Protocol 1. Be courteous and allow your opponent the first attack. Martlet of the Royal Guard is waiting for your turn. Oh, well, I'm gonna check. A little scatterbrained. Um, I don't think I'm supposed to be helping you, but that was supposed to be your turn. It's okay. I space out and miss stuff like this all the time. I'll let you go again. All this music. I like that. Martlet is blinking a lot. Maybe it's a code. It probably isn't. <laughs> uh, Rush. You tap your wrist impatiently. Martlet looks apologetic and tries to talk a little faster. Uh, I, I, oh, hold on. I have a guidebook on me. I'll check what to do when someone doesn't actually attack. You can just, uh, take another turn. Uh, go for it. Hit me as hard as you can. Uh, is nervously consulting her royal guard uh, guidebook. I don't want to ignore her, so... Uh, okay, I'm really sorry for the wait. I'm looking. I'm not the best royal guard, you know, but I'm really trying to be better. Oh, last week I apprehended this girl. Totally human. Oh, I think it's your turn. A gust of wind blows a little blue feather on your face. Martlet looks embarrassed. Dude, I love the vibe of this music. Okay. I'm like, I'm digging it a lot. Uh, royal guards are to proceed to the next step without hesitation. Oh. Does that count as hesitation? What? Protocol 2! My attack! Oh. Oh! Oh my god! They're homing! They're homing feathers! That's so cool! Oh no, she's so cool! A gust of wind. Oh my gosh. That was only a warm-up. Prepare for the Royal Guard gauntlet. Oh. Okay. Oh. Stuff? The gauntlet is you throwing boxes of junk at me. <laughs> Martlet is nervous. Okay. Hi yeah. Oh, I don't like that. Ooh. 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 Oh. 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 This is a little bit more readable. That's so cool. You're so cool. Take this, intruder. Oh! oh, I see, I see. It took me a minute. Oh. <laughs> took me a minute and I died. No! Oh my god, I gotta redo all that. No. I'm not sure she even meant to kill you there. Impressive? Question mark? Retry. I'm sorry. Dude, she's so cool. I like her a lot. Her music is so cool, and her attack patterns are awesome, too. Oh, 
Oh, get out. Ooh, her stuff that she throws at me. It's painful. Okay. Martlet has dropped her fighting stance. Phew! This is a real workout. Keep it up, Martlet. Is it Martlet or just Marlet? Or Marley? I, I don't know. I don't really know. I'm just gonna call her how it's pronounced. Martlet. Martlet. Yeah. Is flipping through her guidebook again. Hmm? Oh! 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 Oh my god! Oh, she's dropping stuff on me. A song? That's so cool. Do her, ah, look at her flipping her book. Um, hold on, I'm checking this one more time. That can't be right, you're not fighting back. I don't wanna hurt you, you're all cute and stuff. You go on and have your turn. I'm gonna check the handbook again. Okay, I need to heal. Um, Sponge cake does, sponge cake. You lick the frosting off the sponge. Your mouth feels squeaky clean. Oh, thank God. See, when I apprehended that girl, I didn't have this problem. Well, I guess she didn't attack me per se, but she scolded me and got real aggressive like, what are you on about? I'm not human. Clear the feathers out of your head. Would you mind being aggressive like her? Oh, I don't like being aggressive. Come on, get aggressive. I can take it, I swear. Six and stones may break my bones, but words can only make me sad. Oh. Don't be sad. Come on, get aggressive. Everything smells like birdseed with a taste full hint of vanilla and orange blossom. Do I have to hit her? Uh. Insult. You call Martlan a weenie. Oh, that was adorable. I don't even feel insulted. I feel like I've been honored. You put so much work into that. <laughs> you aren't making this easy here. Here I go. Protocol and all that for the Royal Guard. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's so cool. Dude. It has like a cool 3D effect look to it. That's so fun. Martlet catches herself getting lost in the music. I would too. Give it another try. I believe in you. Okay. Uh, insult. You forcibly tell Martlet you don't like her clothes. That's more like it. What kind of royal guard wears rags like these, right? It's not like I stayed up all night sewing them or anything. <laughs> oh, right. It's my turn. Okay, it's these. Ooh. Ooh, you double. You double whammied. Okay. Come on, dig into some deep aggression. Break down my self-esteem until it's a pile of metaphorical rubble. Crush my mental like a bug underneath your shoe. Wait, do you crush bugs? Girl, what is with you and wanting me to self, like, uh, deprecate you for no reason? Like, what? <laughs> Martlet uh, is trying to look, strike a pose that looks professional and imposing. I mean, your pose is pretty cool. Insult. You insult Martlet's job performance. I have to say, you're not wrong about that one. I've kind of been on probation for a while. One more misstep and I can say goodbye to royal guarddom. And all that nice perks that come with it. My cozy uniform, my royal guard discount at the movies, my nice insurance rates. When they find out how much I hesitated here, I'm doomed. I mean, they specifically said don't hesitate. I got it. Oh. We cleared? If the royal guard doesn't know you're here, they won't know I broke protocol. Oh, she's so cute. Instead, we'll just get you home before any of them sees you. You'll be home in time for dinner. That's so cute. I mean, maybe not today's dinner, but for sure a dinner. Anyway, we'll bypass the royal guard and plead your case to Asgore. There's no way he can say no to a cute little face like yours. 
Meet me up ahead and I'll show you my plan to get you home. That's cute. Bye. There's a notebook on the counter titled My Puzzle Blueprints. This must be where Martlet sketches her puzzle ideas. A note is nailed to the kiosk post. It says, hello, traveler. Due to infrequent breaks, I'm prone to snoozing on the job. If you're reading this and I'm asleep, please don't just walk past this checkpoint. That would dock my pay for sure. Ring the bell to wake me up instead. Thank you. Martlet of the Underground Royal Guard Snowden Division. There's no bell, so she's missing a bell. Hey there, so here's the plan. I'm sorry, I think I went a little overboard, but I can't help it. This is all too exciting. So I've been saving this for a rainy day. You know, figuratively, we don't really have those. Either way, behold, the UG Aviator. That's cute. In the water sits an old looking raft with just enough room for two passengers. Isn't she a beauty? Boats are she's, you know? I call her Ava for short. Isn't that cute? It is cute. It is so cute. If my map and memory serve, this river should lead directly to Hotland. From there, it's a bop, hop, skip, and a leap to Asgore's castle. I'm not sure how we're getting in, but we cross that bridge when we come to it, right? I also wanted to apologize about, well, you know, attacking you. I meant no harm, honest. I just have to do my job is all. And, well, oftentimes, I don't know what the right action is until it's too late. So, I know we just met and all, but will you trust me on this? Yeah. Yay! Don't worry, your trust is in good hands. Or wings, as the case may be. I'll guard it with my soul. And this means we get to have an adventure. This is so exciting! I mean, nothing this exciting ever happens around here. At least, while I've been here, it hasn't. I think of all the fun we'll have. I mean... There's a chance there I might be fired for this and lose all my life's work and belongings, but hey, what's life without a little risk? So, shall we be off then? Not yet. Oh, you have something to do? I didn't realize you were so busy and popular. That's fine. I'll be here. Take all the time you in the world. Actually, if you wouldn't mind, don't take, like, all the time in the world. We want to have time left for the journey, you know? Dude, she is so cute. I love her. <gasps> What is over here? Okay, I I don't want to go into the next area unless she's going to like take me back and stuff like that. But I I I want to figure out the coffee thing. Howdy. Great job once again. I hate that so many monsters are ruthlessly attacking you, but you're handling it with grace. I'm not sure I trust this one. Lucky for us, she doesn't seem to to put together. We could ditch her as soon as she messes something up. Oh, Flowey. I'm sure it won't take long. <laughs> Flowey. That's so rude. Hmm. <gasps> Hello. Z. Mm. No, I don't know where the pudding... The pudding is... He's so cute. Oh my god, color and all. I gotta figure out a way to give the, the, the guy the coffee and make it colder and stuff. Hmm. Oh, dude, there's more stuff? Sorry, I didn't read the first part. The underground is large enough to house its own ecosystem, did you know that? That's why snow covers the ground and plant life surround us despite the obvious lack of sunlight. There's also these gemstone things, but that's a whole other can of snails. Oh, sorry for the lecture. I kind of want to be a teacher when I get older. It's not important. Oh. Royal Guard. You don't know that what the Royal Guard is? Why, they're the peacekeepers of the underground. They set up stations all around and keep watch for wrongdoers. Typically, they handle small stuff, schemers and scammers, you know. But then there are the big jobs, jobs that don't come around very often. I don't think you've learned about that particular subject in school yet, by the looks of you. You gotta be really immature before the end of the curriculum, like a high schooler. So, uh, sorry, I wouldn't want to spoil your homework. Mo. Mo? 
Oh, more! You want more of something? Coffee? Live music? Let me know and I'll see what I can do. No, mo. No more? Um, all right then. What? Something wrong? You look annoyed. I, I didn't mean to upset you if I did. Aww. Uh -huh. How in the world do I communicate with children? Uh, do you like video games? There's an arcade located in the dunes. You should ask your parents to take you there. Did that work? <laughs> you wanna hear a joke? Things I do for customers. All right, um, let me think. Okay, here's one. Why did a dishonest monster get fired from his job? Oh. He was caught lying around. <laughs> Not even a chuckle, man. Definitely keeping this off the daily report. Oh. Interesting. Do you not have, like... It'll warm you right up. The coffee I have... Is hot, though, for some reason. Hmm. Oh! I am so relieved now. Everyone's on the ground safe. I wonder if only children have to deal with this. Monsters climbing all over your head, I mean. Hey, where are you going to next? Anywhere exciting? Can I come? Oh, no, I'm good. Much as I love to keep selling pops, I'm all out. Until next time. Oh, Mo out. Huh, the heck? Oh my god! That's all the people I've, like, fought. You listen. No cone has planned. Gonna go to top of Big Hill. Big, big hill. Can see hotlands from Big Hill. Fire far away. Not hurt. No cone. True. You know, I read something else. Eat food to stay strong and healthy. That one's plain obvious. Oh, yeah. Want to know another excerpt from the book? It said, please stop talking to me. I've exhausted my book quotes. A very wise book indeed. Please leave me alone. <laughs> There's got to be a way that I can, like... Get this pop? This coffee cold. You take the cup of coffee. Hey, what are you, crazy? What am I supposed to do for you? Oh, <gasps> crab. Pinch, pinch, just kidding. I'm so glad the royal guard protects our home. Well, not my home, really. My home is on my back and I protect it at all costs. Or it protects me? It's a mutually beneficial relationship. Blah, blah. But yes, maybe, maybe the side quests and stuff are for a later date. It feels like it, at least. Because I definitely... There's only... Yeah. Only one way. Okay. So, I don't think I can do the coffee thing right now, unless I'm just dumb. I think, I, I, I think I'm just a little dumb. You know. Sorry, my guy. I was trying, but you don't want to take the, the hot coffee and... It won't let me cool it down for some reason. All right, we're gonna head into the next area and think that's where I'm gonna call this part. Uh, I'm trying to record longer videos and then just cut those up. Just saves me time on uh, recording and then uh, so I can just focus on editing later. I, I realized I gotta figure out a thumbnail for this. <laughs> I realized that none of the monsters have been attacking me, which is very nice, honestly. I'm a nice human being. Clover's so cool. I love this guy. He's so cool. Come on, Clover. Martlet's waiting for us. I, I get it. I get it. My bad. <laughs> this music is so fun. All right, Martlet. We can we can go now. Shall we be off then? Look at this cute little boat. And she could just like fly her way into this boat. Oh. Wait! 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 Hold on! I was supposed to be on Ava with you! 
<laughs> Whoa! It's waterfall! So, hi! This is so cute. So, I was thinking, if Ava doesn't have sails, does this still count as sailing? I don't know. I mean, it has a little, like, pole. Pretty smooth ride, yeah? My woodworking skills aren't too shabby. I suppose I should thank my mentor. Older fella by the name of Chujin taught me everything. He, well, never mind. Oh, oh, what? Dude, the waterfall looks so cool. Hey, so would you mind answering a few questions for me? It's nothing big, it's just a little quality assurance questionnaire. Will you try it? Yeah. Great. Question one. Oh, the way she pulls out her book. On a scale from one to three, how would you rate your encounter with the Royal Guard? Please answer honestly. A three. Wait, really? I got a three. I've never gotten a three before. Oh my goodly, um, goodly goodness. I can't believe it. I got a three. I have to tell absolutely everyone. Okay, sorry, got carried away. Let's keep going. Question two. On a scale from one to two, how would you rate the puzzles deployed in Snowden? Snowden. Snowden. Really? Thanks! I made them myself! Uh, there's a reason I was assigned to work under the Royal Scientist. Ooh. I mean, it's because I got last choice of the station, but still! You picked up a few things guarding all that science stuff. Anyway, back on topic. Question three. On a scale of one to four, how would you rate the auditory ambi- uh, What does that mean? Okay, that's a new question. Why do they keep updating this? Let's just forget the questionnaire. Oh. I'll just put you down as dead center for the rest. Oh, that sound good? Yeah, that works. Just a two there, and a three, and a 2.15 here, and a 23, and we're done. <laughs> 23. Oh, and one more thing. I'm gonna need your name for legal purposes. You know how it go. No, you know how it gets. Yeah, it's Clover. Oh, what a unique name. I love it. So, Clover, let's talk about Ava. Isn't she great? I told you, sails like a dream from a perfect little lullaby. Dude, I need to say a sentence properly. Nice pace, pretty view, and not a single leak. Oh, and, well, there's a little one, but not too many leaks. I gotta slow down. We can just sit back and relax and... Hey! Do you hear an abnormal amount of running water? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, we are in Waterfall. Is it just me or is the river getting faster? Oh, well, if anything, it helps... Oh. Oh. Uh oh. Oh. <gasps> um, I might not have been down this room before. Hold on to something. Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. We moving. Oh. Oh my God. <gasps> hey, look, it's Holland. This is our stop. Wait. We have to dock here. Slow down. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, we moving too fast. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. <gasps> Are you okay? Oh no, no, no! You stay right there! I'll go get help! Oh my god, did I die? Oh, I'm alive. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Clover's going through it. Not Ava. We lost Ava, guys. A container bearing a strange symbol. The lid is bottled shut. It's impossible to open. The waterlogged remains of an old chest. You spy a small, dry paper bag Cra cradled in the interior of the lid. Will you take it? Yes. You got some trail mix. Oh. No, not Ava. Oh, whoa. We're always getting stuck in some underground. Oh. Howdy, Clover. What a day this has been. Thanks to that guard, we're totally off course. It looks like she ditched you as well. Oh. I guess it can't be helped now. There's got to be another route to Asgore's castle here. Tough it out for now. We'll see where this new path takes us. A little excitement never hurt anyone. Well, except you. Let me heal you up. Thanks. I appreciate that. A minecart sits lodged in the ground. You have no idea how this came to be. 
Some hefty boxes lie in the dirt. They seem to have been here for a long time. Oh, look, the spotlight. That's cool. Right, I'm going to sit in the spotlight. Oh, my God. This has been super fun so far. We we breezed through Snowden pretty pretty quickly. I don't know what the length of this game is. I'm assuming the length of like just Undertale in general. Um, but wow, I, I felt like I breezed through Snowden for for like a few minutes, but it's it's been a while, honestly. <laughs> this is probably part two, if anything, of the Undertale Yellow playthrough. Uh, I don't know. I'm recording these in bulk, so. I, I enjoyed so much of that. Like, there's a lot of di little side quests that I didn't get to do, like the, the guy stuck on the pole, and then the two couple who need, like, a map. I don't know where to get a map. I don't know if I need to get a map. Uh, but those are two little side quests. I love doing the side quests before going to the main quest. That's just how I am with uh, games that have quests and side quests. I always do the side quests first. Uh, I don't want to get too much on a tangent, so... This has been super good so far. Like the the art and the background design has been super unique, super fun, but it still holds the essence of like Undertale, which I really appreciate. And it's it's also its own kind of like separate thing. Like the characters are super unique. Um, just the setting of everything is just something so different, and I really enjoy it. And Mertlet, I I hope I'm pronouncing her name right. If not, I'll probably fix it the next time I play. But she is a darling. I love her so much. <laughs> I can see why people think she's like besties with Papyrus. I would I love that. That is so fun. I I can see them just puzzling it out together. I love them. <laughs> but she is such a darling. I love her. I hope we get to see more of her. If not, you know, it's okay. I'll probably see her later. But we're just breezing through all these like different characters and all the enemies to the monsters and stuff have been super unique and super fun i love them so much and i'm i'm enjoying this gameplay so far i know there's a lot more areas there's the dunes that they mentioned i saw a little bit of those from a, a live stream i was watching and we're in the hotlands right now we might go into waterfall i don't know we we pass by it through the little talking session so we'll see but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of my content. I have uh, the Undertale playthrough on my channel. I also have Deltarune on my channel. And I'm hoping to play other games as well. Similar to this because these type of games are more my style. And I hope you stick around to watch them. I also have Friday Night Funkin' content. Which is what uh, I am mostly known for at the moment. And I also do art on my social medias. And have an Etsy shop if you want to go look at some cool things. But thank you so much for watching, and as always, I hope you guys have a great day and a great night as always. Bye!